N6TLU back with you. Got another modulator here for you to check out. This one is a 30 watt model. Runs a pair of 6L6s. Modulating a UTC S19 output transformer. This thing really works great. So I'll put it on the air first and then I'll give you a little guided tour of how it's made. All right, so I call this modulator the Defiant. Kind of sounds like Valiant, right? It kind of looks like an old Johnson piece of equipment. I'm monitoring on a National 300 receiver, and right now we're gonna use a trusted D104 mic. What's nice about this modulator is I can key the transmitter through the modulator. So you don't have to fool around keying your transmitter and then key this, okay? So here we go, here's a D104. Test one, two, three. A little bit of feedback. Test one, two, three, four. But you can hear how pure and quiet this thing is. Really sounds good. Okay, now let's go over to an Aesthetic 77 Elvis style mic and see what that sounds like. All right, now we got the uh, 77 style mic hooked up. Same thing, listen on the National. Haven't touched anything. Uh, did adjust the mic gain, of course, because this is a lower gain mic. So there it is. And this one has a little more of a bassy sound, kind of a uh, little more of a broadcast style sound rather than the uh, pinched up communication style that you get on a D104. But very legible. I bet you this thing sounds super on the air. All right, so let's take a little tour of the D-Lab Defiant modulator, okay? Obviously a vintage chassis with some really cool Simpson meters. And these power indicators are, you, you got it, EF Johnson, okay? The uh, preamp tube is a 6SL7. Inverter is a 6SN7. Output tubes, a pair of 6L6s. And over here we have a 5AR4 rectifier. She's powered by a Hammond transformer. And over here, I have an accessory relay, okay? So you can use that to do things like key up your transmitter. So if I hit this, you see the relay toggling. It's got an octal output connector on the back to connect to your transmitter. And the thing's really nice. It uh, really adds some functionality for that little CW transmitter that you just can't seem to modulate. Being a 30 watt model, this modulator would work great for a Johnson Navigator, Adventurer, a Globe Chief, um, and any of those type of standalone CW transmitters. As long as you get in line with the high voltage, this thing would do the job. So once again, you may ask yourself, why is N6TLU messing with this stuff? You guys got all these flex systems and all these other type of devices that sound great on AM. I'm just doing it to preserve the history. This uh, little Defiant modulator was kind of a dream. I had this thing laying around and I modified it. I turned it into what you see. And uh, I might have a little bit of fun with it for a while and then she'll go down the road like all my other projects. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun with it. Hope you did too. Thanks.